How do you narrow this video down to, to eight great moments? How do you summarise the legendary career of Scott Brown in a ten minute video? It's, it's honestly impossible. Um, how do you pick certain moments in a career full of moments? He's arguably one of the greatest Celtic, and no arguably about it, he's one of the greatest Celtic players of all time, one of the greatest Celtic captains of all time. 14 years of service, 22 trophies to this date so far. He's legendary, he's captain invincible at the end of the day. This is Scott Brown, a man who define, defines, defines? <laughs> defines an era for Celtic fans. You know, you have your McStage, you have your McGrange, you go back to the Lisbon Mines, you've got all these certain players who kind of define different eras. And, and, and he's one of them. Scott Brown defines, you know, he's been captain of Celtic for two thirds of my lifetime. Um, he's all other than known as a leader at Celtic Football Club, but the announcement has came that he will be leaving. I, I generally feel broken. Yeah, at the end of the season, Scott Brown will be going to Aberdeen as a player coach uh, after weeks of speculation. We spoke about it in the latest edition of the podcast. Podcast! But the news is official now. Celtic have released a statement. Scott Brown and Peter Law have, have both spoken. Um, and it's an emotional one. You know, I didn't imagine that I'd see Scott Brown uh, leave and go to another club. I thought he'd retire at Celtic. I thought he would, you know, go on to be a coach at Celtic. But look, there's so many positives and negatives to Brown leaving the club this summer. But ultimately, I think all Celtic fans can come together and saying a massive kind of thank you and uh, and come together to celebrate the career of Scott Brown at Celtic. Look, it's a shame that we're not going to be in the stadium to give the guy the send off that he deserves. This is you know the, the best player we've had over the past 10, 15 years. He's been the one that's led us out of battle so many times through many famous wins, through a quadruple treble, through all these moments. He's been the leader, he's been the captain, and through different managers, there's been one guy who's present as a leader, and that's Scott Brown. So I, I, we all wish we could be in the stadium and I'll be making plenty of videos between now and the end of the season where we talk about Scott Brown and we talk about his last few games as a Celtic player. Well, I'll reiterate that, thanks, but today I've decided why not, off the back of that announcement, we look at the eight, because of the number eight, greatest moments in Scott Brown's Celtic career. Look, as I said, it's hard to pick eight. There's so many moments you can talk about. Before we get on with the video, 56% of viewers on this channel are not subscribed. So if you are new here or you've just not subscribed yet and you do come along regularly, please do us a favour, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 26k. It would be much appreciated if it is your first time or such. If you enjoy what you're seeing, hit the button. It would be... It'd be nice of you in these tough times. Brown's leaving. So at number eight, it's actually an accomplishment which I feel like many players would put as their number one, but we are putting it down at the bottom of this list. But, I mean, the bottom of this list is hardly bad, is it? Um, it's winning the treble when it comes to Player of the Year awards. Look, Scott Brown, he's won a treble. He's won a domestic treble back-to-back -back in a double treble. He's won a treble treble. He's won a quadruple treble. He's done a lot when it comes to club honours. But how many players can turn around and say they've done the treble when it comes to Footballer of the Year awards? Not only winning the Celtic Player of the Year award in the 2008-09 season The Scottish Football Writers Association Gave him the Players of the Year And obviously the Players, Players of the Year Fantastic accomplishment Free on the bounce and, and people seem to forget that you know Before his injury Brown was a very technically gifted player Very good player in fact I mean people are quick to judge And, and weigh him up with the likes of Barry Ferguson and Stephen Davis But we never remember in terms of technical ability How good he was back in these times Back when he first started at Celtic Before he was picking up the big injuries That kind of slowed down his career Look as a leader it's a completely different ballpark With, uh, with Scott Brown how he plays and how, what he means But technically very good back when he first joined Celtic and that's what seen him get these three awards in that one season. Look, Celtic didn't even win the league that year. Seven goals from centre midfield that season and very, very good at the international stage as well. And he didn't have the best start the season before so to get that season under his belt was probably the turning point for Scott Brown and really when we seen the arrival of him uh, after spending what was big money uh, when he first came into the club in 2007. Uh, three Player of the Year awards in one season. There's your number eight. Moment number seven, a moment which annoys me because I never got to this game and it still pisses me off to this day, but a moment that shouldn't really have had to happen, but we relied on the captain to make it happen. Celtic were taking on Hamilton in a December fixture in 2019, where Rangers had kind of solidified themselves once more as challengers for the Premiership title. Um, and the, the years cup, kind of prior to that, Celtic were miles ahead and, and Gerrard was starting to get them somewhere. So heading into this game in, in December, things were close at the top of the Premiership and Looking on it now, with hindsight, a game that kind of defined where the, the, the trophy would end up that season. Uh, Hamilton won, Celtic won, Hamilton left it very late in the 90th minute. It looked as though they had snatched a point from Celtic. You've gone into that thinking you should be winning 3 or 4 nil at home to Hamilton, but in that 90th minute moment when Hamilton make it 1-0, madness. But we go up the park, 
Scott Brown, who is there? The man to deliver. Goal back in the net, 90 second minute, crowd go crazy. Really helped the team lead back confidence. It set us two points clear of Rangers, and those two points were vital because keep in mind, we lost the derby game that came at New Year's time that year. So those two points were vital. Look, of course, Rangers collapsed post Dubai break, but at the end of the day, that goal from Scott Brown was vital to getting that little bit that got us over the line and gave us that little bit of momentum. What a moment. Um, I remember being at work and just across the road, hearing the crowd cheer in the 90 second minute after thinking that they had lost the game. Madness. I wish I was there, but there you go, number seven. A vital goal from the captain uh, to take us closer to, what was that, nine in a row season. Number six is simply signing Scott Brown. Look, this could place anywhere on this list. It could be number one, because ultimately that's the moment that turned out to make him what he has now become. It could be number eight, because maybe it doesn't really count as so much of a moment in a Celtic shot, but Scott Brown signing for Celtic was huge at the time. A record transfer between two Scottish clubs in the region, I think, of £44.5 million. Pounds. Scott Brown coming to Celtic was huge for so many reasons. Number one, we had landed one of the best young talents in Scotland, impressing everybody with with his time at Hibs but most importantly Rangers thought they had him Rangers really wanted Brown you see the clips now they always come back to haunt sometimes with Scott Brown uh, playing, against, uh, playing against Rangers at Easter Road with the Rangers fans singing it Scott Brown we're going to sign Scott Brown they thought they were going to get him and under the noses of Rangers Celtic made the transfer happen and just think how different things could have been if he signed for Rangers, look, there's no denying how good a footballer he is, and he would have definitely been a good footballer for Rangers too, but I think we can safely say um, he's one of the signings I'm, I'm glad we did finally make. Um, got over the line, you know, we've, we've, we've had a few sins that you think of, we should have got that over the line, but this is one that, if it went the other way, who knows how things could have went between both sides. Signing them was huge, can't underestimate the signing of Scott Brown. Also, how can we forget the clothes uh, that he wore when he did sign for Celtic? A fashion icon. Mr. Brown. This moment for me is actually one, it's a bit underrated, it doesn't get spoke about enough, but at number four it's Scott Brown's goal against Hapwell Beersheva in the Champions League playoff round. Look, this goal was so vital, uh, and we, I don't think we all kind of realised that at the time. When the game was finished and we walked away 5-2 winners, Scott Brown's goal didn't seem as important as what it should have been, because we nearly bottled it in the second leg, and look, we nearly bottled it in the first leg, so Scott Brown scoring there was probably the, the goal that kind of sent us through to the Champions League group stages for the first time in what was that, three years at the time, this was Roger's first season, we had already been a bit shaky with that loss to Lincoln Red Imps, but that goal was probably the one that, that got us through that group stage, and seen us get those nights against Manchester City, for example, um, it was, it was huge and we don't talk about it enough, it was a massive goal and it was something of a, that from the captain that, you know, you don't really expect, you don't expect him to go up to the park and score late on in the Champions League game but he managed to do it here uh, and I'm sure he doesn't regret it, like we were 3-0 up in that time, somehow we managed to give away two goals, it was 3-2, we then went up 4-2 and you're thinking at that point, well we'll take that but 5-2, a win and that goal, oof the second leg was a lot closer than it should have been. It was huge, but I, we can't underestimate the importance of it. Now, I don't think a lot of people would include this in, in Scott Brown's best moments as a Celtic player, but I'm certainly going to, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Number four here, Scott Brown winning the PFA Player of the Year in 2018. Now, it doesn't seem mental, it's not a crazy thing. You know, Scott Brown, fantastic player. If anything, you expect to win more players of the year, if you like. But this one was huge because for so many years and so many times, fans, pundits, journalists, everybody had been kind of saying that Scott Brown was finished, Scott Brown was done. Brendan Rodgers brought a kind of resurgence to Scott Brown's career and a resurgence that was, was, was so important for him. Uh, and so important for Celtic because we've seen how vital he was in 2016 through to 2019. You know, he was still the captain, he was someone who we, we really needed around the club and I think a lot of people forgot that completely. And him winning that kind of, that, that, that player of the year in 2018 kind of you know, it's a kind of, well, look at me now, I'm still here, still the best, still running Scottish football as he has done for so long. When he won that, it was great, it was just, you know, for a player who <coughs> looked, looked done and dusted back when Dyla was in charge, to really go through all of that and then go and win a Player of the Year award, it, it was madness. I was I was very happy at the time and still looking back on it now, it was kind of a, nice to just see him holding the year award. Like, you know, no one expected that. I think at the start of the season, no, a lot of people would have said Brown to go and win that. And he did, and look, it's nothing mad, it's not as good as going on and winning the treble that he did that year, but still, for him, a personal accomplishment, uh, and one that, you know, Scott Brown wants to prove the doubters wrong, that was certainly one there. Number three, and I think a lot of people would put this at number one, but I am going to go for the Bruni. 
What, what else can we say? The, the, the Bruni. Do I need to explain? Just that photo itself. Simply iconic. Um, and something that we all still talk about to this day. Um, what people might say that they've got the Jufi and all the rest of it, but Bruni. That's all. Also, not just for the moment itself being so iconic. But what a goal that Ibrox had day for Brown. You know, very rare to see him score against Rangers, so you know what, that, that was a collector's item, I enjoyed that, good moment. At number two, it's not so much just his moment, but a whole kind of collective moment as Celtic, for Celtic. It's been Captain Invincible. The Invincible season, who was the one that led us there, who was the man in the field who captained us through all of those games? It was Scott Brown. Uh, his contribution that season cannot go um, un un unacknowledged. You know, he led us to an Invincible season, that's not easy. You know, and that's not just in the league, you know, that's in all domestic competitions, in the Scottish Cup, the League Cup, and the, the, the Premiership. We went undefeated every single game. All those team talks that Scott Brown gave, all those huddle talks, whatever you want, um, you know, they meant something, because we didn't lose one single game. Uh, and a big part of that is the leadership that Brown brought, and every single trophy we lifted that season was lifted by none other than Scott Brown. How many captains in world football have lifted an invincible treble? Tell you what, Brown's the only one. It's just unbelievable and you look back to it, they were the proper good old days now, aren't they? <laughs> but you look back at it and go, wow, we actually accomplished that. And it's it's one of the crowning moments of Scott Brown's career. Like I know we went on to win a double treble, a treble treble and a quadruple treble. And you could easily put the quadruple treble in that place and say, well, we've done that, that's probably better than the first one. But that's invincible, Captain Invincible. And it was the opening to what was a, a trophy filled era for Celtic, led by none other than Scott Brown. It's just madness. Also very quickly, Scott Brown made 54 competitive appearances that season. The amount of football he played, um, for being a player who has been getting on a little bit and who was apparently finished, is unbelievable. What a player, what endurance, just uh, unbelievable. Captain Invincible. And finally, uh, for me, the most iconic moment in Scott Brown's Celtic career, winning the league at Rugby Park. Scott Brown won the league at Rugby Park. Just what a moment. And it was it kind of enhanced for me because I was there at the game watching in the away end. But, just oh, unbelievable, what a whirlwind couple of weeks to be a Celtic fan, of course this was right towards the end of Rodgers' tenure in charge, but you know, it was it was the goal that basically secured us the league title, um, we knew we were on to win eight in a row and the party atmosphere was unbelievable and a 0-0 game against Steve Carr's command we knew it was going to be tough, it was so disappointing, it was such a poor game um, and we felt like we were going to get nothing and then bang, through the hooker by crook, whatever you want to say, that wee deflection or no, the way it bounces, whatever, I don't care, Scott Brown won the league at Rugby Park, and out of all the league titles, Scott Brown had won at Celtic, um, those 10 league titles, that nine in a row spell of titles as well, um, for him to score the, the, a goal that basically secured one of them, it was just a brilliant moment, and it kind of made that whole day iconic, and that kit icon, and everything, it's just unbelievable, one of those days you'll always remember as a fan, being there especially, but, Scott Brown won the league at Rugby Park, it just still makes me smile. And that does it, in my opinion, that's the eight best moments with Scott Brown at Celtic. And um, look, there's so many moments, and I'm sure I've probably left out some of your guys' favourites. There's so many honourable mentions I could give to, ultimately, put it this way, he's just unbelievable, incredible, immortal, a legend. And all these words, a winner. He's got to be so hard to replace, he's the greatest captain I think we could ever ask for. Um, you know, things are going to be weird without him, uh, and certainly watching the lift trophies of the future for the next wee while or whatever, it's going to be weird not seeing him lift them. Um, something we're going to have to get used to, but look, what a career and what an effort he's gave every st single step of the way. Um, and we'll all miss him. We've got so much more time to talk about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you all next time.